presenter is uh, Jeffrey Smith, uh, doctoral student at uh, St. Mary's uh, College in California. Uh, Jeffrey's topic is screen capture instructional technology, a cognitive tool for blending multimedia uh, learning. All right, so let's talk about blended multimedia learning. So let's look at face-to-face uh, -face instruction. Now, great if you can do one-on-one. -on -one. The problem is it's a one-time only, right? So if you're not recording what I'm doing right now, you have to rely on memory or you're taking great notes. Uh, look at online learning. Now, this is not blended, this is online. Now, the U.S. Department of Education actually says that students perform better uh, in online than face-to-face. -face. Um, the crazy thing is three-quarters of all high schools right now in the United States are implementing online uh, courses. Um, and the problem with that is that if you don't understand the technology, and you don't understand how it works, and you're implementing it in a high school or whatever, it's not necessarily going to work. Because if you don't understand what the advantages are and the disadvantages are, you're just presenting this and walking out of the room, right? So if you don't understand that the, the cognition, it's probably going to be ineffective. All right, so the theoretical framework behind this. The rationale is, is uh, cognitive theory of multimedia learning. And specifically, I'm going to get into the active processing system, which is how, how learners learn uh, and how they make meaning. So the, the, the three realms of this cognitive uh, theory, essentially is dual coding, which is, uh, I mean, we talked about this, where we learn both visually and auditorially. So the funny thing is that we read, we're not actually doing that auditorial, we read it, and then we actually speak it in our minds. So that's purely visual. So when we read a textbook, we're not actually getting the auditory channel at all. Um, and the other two parts of cognitive development here really talks about that we have a limited amount of uh, working memory. And, and this is really based on Miller's 1956 study, which is uh, magic uh, number seven plus or minus two, which, which means that we really only can retain seven plus or minus two items at one time. Uh, and then the, the, the final part is this active processing system, and that's where screen capture technology really works well, is that we, we as learners create our own generative processing. So what that means is when a teacher who they know is giving online this little uh, lesson, they have a relationship with that, that teacher, as opposed to when you, know, you have these online lessons. There is no relationship with it. And the studies actually do show that if the student has a relationship with that, uh, and they call it the pedagogical agent. So, so a teacher online is a pedagogical agent. But that actually the data shows that the learners learn more, and especially if they talk in you and I and not in a formal manner. So there's a lot of research available for this. 